Hello everybody and welcome to part 41 of Let's Play Shenmue 2. I am Hunter, the one who's there for of Polar Bear. And as you can tell by the fact that I acknowledge the part title and nothing else, yes, this is post-commentary. Reason being, original commentary for this was pretty fucking dull. And honestly, when I was recording these parts, I kind of just wanted to get the game done and over with and wasn't really thinking about what to say properly about it. So this time around, yeah, these last four videos are going to be post-commentated. So, um, also, there's probably going to be a lot of silence since I want to let you guys listen to the cutscenes and whatnot. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, uh, last time we did a bunch of shit. We defeated this Bayou guy, rescued Joy. Juan was captured along with Zhu. We used the counter rebel assault to defeat uh, Du Nyu. After that, we, co we managed to catch up with Landy. He got away. But his actual name is Long Soon Zhao, and who is the son of Suming Zhao. A friend of Yandao Zhu, it so happens to have been revealed to be? Yes, actually. Also adjusting my microphone for no particular reason whatsoever. Yeah, so, uh, a bunch of weird shit happened last part. A lot of things were revealed. It could have been possible that, uh, Ryu's dad was, uh, in fact the murderer of Landi's dad. So, yeah. It's pretty fucked up. Blondi believes father killed Suming Zhao. That's why he killed Ryu's father. And uh, because of that, Londi is now heading for Bai Village in Guilin, or Bai Lu Village, and uh, that's where the the material that makes the mirrors, the Phoenix and the Dragon mirrors, is found. So, what could he possibly be going there for? We don't know. Anyway, cutscene shutting up now. To Guilin. Bai Lu village in Guilin. Bai Lu village. Landi is headed there as well.
Alright, so... <clears throat> Welcome to Guilin, or... Gui was it Guilin? Yes, it was Guilin. My god, I'm... Hey, I have terrible memory. Uh, so yeah, this place is the final area of the game. And, uh... Well, to say the least, it's basically a straight path. And or a very long sightseeing tour. In fact, that's what the finale is, is mostly a sightseeing tour. That battle with Donyu, or Dunyu, that was the final battle. I wasn't kidding about that. That is actually the final fight of the game. There's no more fighting after this. Sure, there may be one or two more quick time events, but other than that, yeah, that's actually it. It's pretty weird. But, uh, t I'm gonna be honest here and say that I actually like this calm... Like, I like how after you beat Dunyu, which is... By the way, a pain in the ass bullshit fight, if I haven't mentioned that already. I kind of like how this part of the game is basically just a breather. It just gets you in, immersed in the environment. I'd actually prefer if more hey, of the kid. game was like this. You want to see something? No, I don't, huh? actually. You're a traveler, aren't you? Would you like to have one as a souvenir? No, thank you. But actually... No, I just wanted to ask for directions. What? I'm not a tour guide. I'm only a tourist. To to Wait a village. minute. Bailu Village. Yes. How can I get there? I haven't been there for a long time. It's very difficult to get there. Um. Bailu Village is over there. That way. Walk along the path over there, and you'll get to Bailu Village eventually. To find eventually. Be prepared to walk for two or three days. Oh. I got it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Now, I could very well have made the uh, next couple of parts. I don't know why I'm making it a three-part finale. For some reason, I feel like this part of the game where you're doing all this walking and stuff is kind of like a mini-movie. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of walking, and there's going to be a lot Excuse of silence me. over these next couple mm -hmm. of parts. Is this the right path to Bailu Village? That's right. I see. I'd like to ask you a question. Have you ever been to Bailu Village? Yes, a number of times, a long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. When I was young, I was a traveling medicine peddler. But now that I'm this age, I can't get over the mountains. Is Bailu Village really that deep in the mountains? Yes, you have to climb over a number of mountains. Some of the cliffs on the way will make you dizzy. And there are thick forests that cloud the distinction between left and right. Is that so? How long does it take to get to Bailu Village? Oh, I wouldn't know. If you can keep from getting lost, it'll take two days. Two days. But it could take your entire life. Too spooky. My entire life? Just kidding. But do watch for wolves. Excuse me? Yes. I understand. Oh. Thank you very much. Wolves. That's... That's that's great. Actually, there aren't any wolves. He's just playing with you. Either that or he has terrible memory about this nonsense. So yeah. Basically, this these last four videos, there's gonna be a sightseeing tour, and yeah, I know there's gonna be four videos, this one is one of the four. The next three are gonna be titled as the finale, and yeah, reasons why I mentioned before, but also it's because I'm doing all these four videos post-commentary because the original commentary was dry as fuck. Then again, what is my commentary never dry as fuck? The answer is... Never. That's what we call redundant negatives. Or something else. I have no idea. My nose is weird today. Yeah, so, um... There's a lot of open area on these... Next couple of screens. Not a whole lot to talk about. Which is something I'm pretty sure I mentioned at this exact point in the video in the original commentary. But, um... Yeah... Pretty much, uh, I'm gonna try and save my final thoughts for the credits, but I might intersperse a few things here and there. Maybe. It depends if I manage to 
properly construct my thoughts on this game, which is something I tried to do in the original commentary, but Excuse failed. What is... Is this the way to Bailu Village? Yeah. It passes over the mountains and leads to Bailu Village. This is the only path that leads to that village. Must have gotten a lot of trade then. I mean, seriously, how many go over mountains and it taking two days? Well, then again, I'm not sure how convenient trade routes end up being. Also, here comes another long cutscene. Guess what I'm not going to be doing? Talking. I'd better hurry. Hey, are you all right? <gasps> the little deer. Where is the deer? <gasps> oh, good. I'm so glad. Saved us. Are you okay? Thank you. Why did you jump in? I just had to. I had to save it. Huh. 
The white deer is my village's guardian. A guardian? A white deer. White. Bye. Deer. Lu. Bailu village. My home. Bailu village. Where is this village? It's up along this river. Is it far? I can show you. I'm Shinhua. What's your name? Yo. Hazuki. Yo. Follow me. So after that, yeah. So uh, remember Whoa. that girl in the hmm. opening of the Where game? Where did you come from? I. Who uh, you saw running across here, the fields? You? Yeah, that's no. this girl right here. I came from Japan. Japan? Where's that? It's an island country east of China. In the east. Japan is pretty small compared to China. Is it far from here? Well, actually, it's kind of far. A faraway country to the east. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Shenfa. What is it, Yo? What kind of place is Bailu Village? It's a small village in the mountains. Right. Anything else? Is it far from here? Yes. We have to cross two mountains. Really? Two mountains? Fascinating, Captain. Have you lived in Bailu Village all your life? Yes, ever since I was small. Your family as well? Yes, my father and I. The two of us have always lived in Bailu Village. I see. Shenfa. Yes. All right. So from at this point, whenever you get can into you these long walking Village? and talking things, Let's you can basically see. choose to skip it, my or you can ask her questions just to get more information about the environment of this place, which you're never going to see after this game. An old village. Well, you yes, probably will. It's been around since the Tang Dynasty. That is, since if they the make Tang a shit with three. It's been said that some nobles who were expelled from the city by the emperor built the village to live in hiding. Really? Actually, Shinpa. it's kind of sad yes. that um, we'll never get to see. Well, we will get to Bailu see, but uh, About not people. in a while. Like, basically, I'm, uh, I'm kind of, I kind of, yes. I'm, I'm a little bit sad that this whole nice ability to, just sure to get an entire nice backstory in a place that it sounds like a nice village. I feel like yes. it's never gonna be uh, fully utilized since the village until Shenmue Three comes out, and that's like a but that's like such a distant dream that it seems almost like it's never gonna happen. And that all this, all this build up with this backstory of this, of this place is pretty much for nothing. We'll be going over the mountain now, so tell me if you're tired. Let's go slowly. And waste everyone's time. I mean, what? Yes. So yeah, let's let's just let's just hurry on. Let's hurry on. We've heard enough backstory, even though I talked over most of it. Pretty much, Bailu Village is a small place in the mountains. It's been around for a pretty long time, and yeah. What's this tree? A fragrant olive tree. They are in bloom up ahead too. Oh. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. During this season, all the trees are in full bloom. Fragrant olives. Yes. In China, we call these trees gui, and there are so many here, like woods or ling. So Guilin means the woods of fragrant olives. Really? A lot of them are in bloom. Yes, it's as though the whole mountain is wrapped by the flowers. Let's move on, Yo. Okay. Shenfa. Yes. Let's hurry on. Yes. Butterflies. Mm -hmm. 
They're beautiful. Don't they look like flowers? Flowers. Hey, yeah. They do look like flowers. When I was small, I once saw a lot of butterflies all fly away at once. I started crying because I really thought that all the flowers had flown away. Why are there so many here? Why? There aren't any flowers around here. This is the place where the butterflies come to drink water. To drink? Yes, after the rainfall they come here to take in the drops on the leaves. You see them often after a rainfall. I see. Shenfa. Yes? Perhaps it would have been a good idea to go to this school on. place yes. that I've heard so much about. Nah. The wind has shifted. Let's go through the forest before it gets dark. Yo, can you run? Y yeah. Shenfa. All right, now we gotta. Yeah, I I would. I did say there would be quick time events, and quick time events there are be. So, but this one is a little bit more simple and also a bit odd. Not in the fact that it's like something you do, but they actually give you not only a indication slightly of which button be to careful. press before the event comes up. Like they, there's a certain uh, button you have to press depending on the action that uh, a Shen Hao does. A Shen Ha. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm a problem screwing up the pronunciation. Yeah. So um, when she goes over a branch like that, you press up, and when she goes under one, you press down. For these ones, you go left and right. When she jumps over a pit, you press A. And I believe when she goes over this pile of rocks like here, you press X, which I screw up. As you can tell by the music, doing that weird twangy thingy. Don't worry. And uh, I'm not sure how many times you're allowed to screw this up, but regardless, uh, you get to continue on if you fuck up. Even though it looks like we've already been through this area. Actually, I think it is the same. Oh, actually, wait, no, it was... Jump over another branch. No, yeah, it's a different area. It just looks kind of the same. Because of the, the same quick time events and all. And yeah. Jump over a pit and press X to go over the rocks. I have learned this time. And yeah, we'll be doing this a couple of times. This one wasn't so bad. Actually, none of them are, really. The path ends here. Let's go over this cliff. We're going to climb this? Yes. It's slippery. Watch your step. All right. Yo, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's hurry. It's this way. Yeah. Another quick time event sequence. Hooray. Hurrah. Haru. So yeah, these ones are... I, I think these ones are a bit better constructed. Not only because it doesn't exactly come out of nowhere, but because Why there's a think? rhyme and reason to it. Like, I noticed that a lot throughout this game. Like, there's moments where it's like, oh, you got a quick time event instead of, you know, normal combat. And other times where it's like, okay, Ryu, put that thing called common sense into action and, uh, you know, do a thing. Instead of just looking like an idiot. Sometimes the, 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 the times in which quick time events are utilized don't exactly have any purpose of being there aside from, you know, just being there. A lot of that, that that's the basic problem with most quick time events and anything really is that they don't really have to be there it's just an excuse to add the pointless bit of gameplay that has no reason to be there well cutscene quick time events anyway I'm not I'm not sure how to exactly discuss the uh, 
the purpose of quick time events in uh, boss battles or other things of gameplay. Also, I really hate those Simon Says ones, by the way. Even though I've managed to work them out by now, it's just... Ugh. They're so... They're still pretty stupid. Just saying. They're pretty stupid. Here's a spring. Yes. Travelers and animals all quench their thirst here. Fireflies. At a place like this, with a clear spring, there are fireflies. They're beautiful. Yes. It's like being surrounded by stars. It's my first time seeing so many fireflies. Aren't there fireflies in Japan? When I was a child, I saw some. But there are only a few of them now. Wait, Yo. Huh? You should be careful when they are shining low near the shrubs. Snake eyes shine very much like fireflies. Snake eyes? If you put your hand out carelessly, you'll get bitten. I didn't know that. The spring here means we're almost at the end of the forest. Really? Yes, but it's getting dark. We must hurry on our way. Yes, let's move on. Quickie Tommy Eventy number three. And I believe this is the last one we have to do. Yeah. So if you haven't noticed, like, for the most part, um, it, it, there's, there's two technical days in this. Oh, no, wait, there's three technical days in this game. Never mind, there's three days, yeah. And this first one, you're just running around in the forest doing some quick time events. And uh, the second one, you're basically walking for a very long time, and that's what's going to take up the majority of these next two parts. Also, some soul searching. I'm, I'm actually being serious this time. There was a bit of, like, deep thoughting going on. That's that's not that's not that's not what a word means. There's some deep thinking going on that occurs, and deep thoughts will be thoughted up. Basically, that's the reason why I'm keeping quiet, because the shit they talk about is actually kind of... Oh, what's the word? Engaging? And interesting? I don't know. Maybe it's because they're actually trying to flush out the ideologies of a... Um, a Chinese culture? Foreign... Well, Chinese culture, yeah. Actually, trying to. I feel like they're actually trying to flush it out in this area, but. I don't know for the rest of the game. It's weird. And I wish they did it more, honestly, because I kind of like that stuff. Whenever you get to explore and learn more about new places and locations and stuff like that. It's a weird sort of thing. Yes. The sun has gone down. The cave is near. Let's find it quickly. Okay. This is some cliff. Yes. It's one of the most dangerous areas around here. Do you always walk through here? Yes, but I don't walk here at night. When it gets dark, I can't see very well. Also, the animals start moving around looking for water. I see. It's getting pretty dark. We have to find the cave quickly. Soon, the moon is going to hide behind the clouds. It'll be difficult to find once it gets dark. Is it near here? Yes. Travelers use it to take shelter from the rain. I think it was along the cliffside. Sounds good. Let's go. Let's wait for the sunrise here. Yeah.
Let's kindle a fire. Uh -huh. The night is cold in the mountains. Our clothes are wet. We'll freeze. We've got to find some firewood to make a fire. Uh. Looks like someone has made a fire. There was someone here. Someone who passed by here must have spent the night. We can still use this. But this won't be enough to last till morning. We'll need to gather more wood. Yeah. I'll go look outside. Yo. The twigs outside are still wet from the rain. We can't burn them. Then what? Look. There are some twigs. Perhaps we could find more further inside. All right. I'll go find them. You can watch the fire. Yes. All right. So next time on Let's Play Shenmue 2, the first of the three parts to the finale is going to be happening. Yes. Also, sticks and silence. So until then, see you later and goodbye.